Today in Roblox, we're going on a dusty trip. We're gonna be meeting a whole bunch of mutant zombies, building cars and whatnot. Let's get into it. Ah, we wake up right here in our room. Yeah, I know it looks a little small and whatnot, but listen, this is my room. We got a nice picture of my vehicle on the wall here. We got my bed and I got a piece of bread chilling next to my, my Minecraft Doge. Okay, let's get to work. We do also have this AK on the wall for 99 Robux. Maybe we buy that a little later. For right now, I, I just want to show you guys where I am. I am literally in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, there's nothing but a cactus over there. So what we need to do today, I'm not going to take the four-wheeler, but we'll take that on our second trip. We're going to need to build our car. You can see right here, I have, well, just the basics of a car. And we have a lot of things to do as far as building it. As you can see in here, we've got a headlight and everything like that. We could take this all the way out here and attach it right here. We're basically going to build the car. And as you can see up in the top right, it shows you everything we need. Like the wheels, the engine, radiator doors, all of that. So let's go ahead and place the engine first. And we're going to need to be doing this relatively fast. As you can see in the bottom left, we do have a hunger. And, you know, your boy's going to be getting hungry pretty fast. We do have bananas and apples and whatnot. There's also an onion down here, if you didn't know. But to do this as quick as possible and get on our, you know, our dusty trip as quick as possible, we need to build the whip as quick as possible. All right, one more wheel to go here, and we will have all four wheels. My radiator fell out somehow, so let me go ahead and place that bad boy right back. And now we need doors and some gas. All of our doors just happen to be right here in my garage. I don't know why I didn't just buy a car that, you know, has doors on it already. But hey, don't pay attention to what we don't have, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention to what we do have. Like this picture of a cat on a watermelon. Yeah, I'm not sure why we have that either. But listen, we're almost done building the car. I just need to attach a couple more doors here. And here we go. By the way, in the comments, guys, you can see above my head or above, at the top of the screen, it says your journey zero meters. Let me know your all's best meter in the comments. Let me know how far you all have gotten in this game. I am going to tell you one thing. I'm going to go ahead and stash my banana back here. I'm going to get a banana. I'm prep. Now, I'm, I'm going to take the apple too. I'm not going to eat this guy because we, if you remember from the beginning, we do have this piece of bread in here. And if you eat it, it'll pretty much give you max hunger if you're pretty close to max hunger. All right. So now what we need to do, let me go ahead and attach my other headlight real quick because it does get dark out here. As you can see, there's the sun. My eye. But later on, you will actually see that um, the sun does hurt you. And for whatever reason, it's only during the eclipse. Like, it, it doesn't do any damage. You can just stare into the sun right now. Don't do that in real life, by the way. But for whatever reason, when the eclipse comes, it hurts your eyes rather than hurting it when the eclipse... I, I don't know. Just uh, trust me. You'll see later. All right, we're going to go ahead and gas up the car here. I think it only has seven in it, right? Okay, I think it has eight or nine, actually. All right, we're done gassing the car. Actually, I do have an extra gas can because I bought this four-wheeler, which we will take after the first run, so stay tuned. But I think we can get up to like 18 liters of gas, and that'll get us a pretty long way as long as we don't die. You you you'll see a little bit later, trust me. Oh. All right, 18 liters of gas has been filled into the vehicle. Okay, I didn't mean to take my door off. I just want to get in the car. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and hop in here, close my whip, start the car, and get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, why can't I move? Time out. Oh, is my parking brake on? Hold on. Okay, let me put that down. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road again, and we are on our dusty trip. As you can see at the top of the screen, we are building our journey. We are currently at about 40 meters in. We got signs. Enjoy Biloxi Cola. I don't think I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to enjoy my time on this road, man. There, there's nothing out here. Literally nothing to see. No sights in sight. It's all just pure paved road. And honestly, it's kind of peaceful. But what's not peaceful, later on, you'll see. Actually, you'll, you'll probably see it soon. We're going to be fighting mutants, running away from, from mutants. Oh, hold up. It's getting dark. Does that mean the eclipse is coming right now? Time out. Let me turn off my car and show you all what I was talking about earlier. We're going to jump out and look what happened. Look what happened. Oh, never mind. It's just dark. It's not the, not the eclipse. Oh, okay. It was a thunderstorm. Get me back in here now. Wow. All right. Yep. That about put me through my wall in the background. Let me, let me just keep driving, bro. Yeah, that thunder is extra loud. Lightning almost hit me as soon as I jumped out. But it's okay, man. Nobody worry. In the, co in the comments. Okay, I hit a rock. That's my bad. Did my apple just fly out of my car? Hold up. No, 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 no. Let me leave. My banana fell out too? Dang, bro. I'm over here cheesing. Okay, you gotta watch for the obstacles that are in the road, man. You definitely cannot hit that and expect to have your apple in the back of the car. All right, back at it. Like I was trying to say, let me know in the comments, how far do you guys think I'm gonna be going today? 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters. 
Let me know in the comments. Right now, we're at about 500. You know, it's a modest 500 meters. And we're just out here vibing, man. I, look at that. The, the storm is clearing up. And we are finally back on the way to a beautiful paved road. No mutants, no nothing yet. Uh-oh, I think I see our first house up here that I am going to stop at just to see if we can get some supplies. Because I don't have a gun or anything. And I know we can we can just run over. We, we basically can run over. Wait a minute. I should have put a hood on this vehicle. I'm over here tripping, bro. Okay, here's what we need to do. I'm going to park the car right here. I, I, actually, I'm not going to park the car. I'm just going to turn it off and leave. I am going to open my door, though, just in case there are mutants inside of this crib. Hey, yo, is anybody in here? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to open the open the door. Oh, okay. Yep, there are mutants here. But are they stuck? They're, they're not even running after me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the... Yep, they are not stuck. I need them to follow me. Guys, what are y'all doing? Maybe I can sneak around them. Hold up. Oh, okay, so as soon as I step in the crib, they're going to try to get me. But I don't think they can follow me outside. Hold up. Oh, this might be beautiful. So we've got some water right here. We can... Okay, hold up. Let me pull the parking brake. If the mutants aren't coming out, this actually might be really good for us. Because that way, we could fill up the radiator with water. Uh, let, let me see. How much... We don't even have to fill it up a lot. We could put five liters in and then store this in the back, actually. We're just going to drop that bad boy right in. Okay, well, hold up. Dr I, I don't even know if I can store it in here. Okay, there we go. We got the water inside of the trunk. And I think I saw a couple gas cans in here, along with, is that a banana? Oh, we totally need, and a piece of pizza, dude. Oh, yeah, we're totally getting all that. And some dynamite? Nah, I don't know what this does. I'm assuming it blows up, but I'm totally bringing the dynamite with us. What I need to do is hurry up. I'm not trying to be out here when there's another lightning strike. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up all this stuff, guys. I'll be right back. Six and a half hours later. Nah, hold up. I just grabbed another dynamite, but look what I found that was underneath of all this stuff over there. You see that weapon? I'm pretty sure we just got us an AK. Now, I don't know how much ammo the AK is going to have, but ladies and gentlemen, are they not coming after me? Okay, hey, uh, y'all stay right there. I'm just going to casually... Is that an axe? Wait, can I hit them with this thing? I don't even think I need to. They're not even moving towards me. Uh, I am going to eat this, and then I think I'm just going to grab all the, all the gas that I can. I'm getting... I don't know why they're stuck. This is actually beautiful for us, though. Oh, no, it was water? Bro, okay, if you ever want to see what it is, all you got to do is look at the cap. I totally forgot to do that. Now I just filled my car up with like 0.3 ounces of water. Is that going to destroy my car? Let me see. Great. Now the car isn't working. You can just hear it clicking over. The only thing we, we would be able to do here. Dang, this was going to be such a good run. We can try to flip the car, but that's going to be the only way that we're able to do this, bro. I don't think I can, I can flip the car, dude. Hold on. You know what? Let me just try to do this. Please, Dynamite flip my vehicle without dis destroying it what did i do you cannot be serious all right well um we have officially uh, we have ruined this car man i was starting off so good and now there's a dust storm yep ladies and gentlemen i'm totally dead at least let's see how much ammo this ak even had like would it have been worth it let's go ahead and check it out i'm gonna grab it I mean, it does have some pretty good ammo, to be honest with you. Bro, I totally just messed this run up. All right, you know what? They just destroyed my AK anyways. I'm going to let them destroy me. We're going to take a different car this time. And when I say a different car, I mean this bad boy right here. We already have all the stuff we need right next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and build the car. I'm going to fill it up with gas and all that, or, you know, the ATV. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to build everything we need to do here, guys. I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, so I just finished building the car, and we're going to eat this onion and go back to it. And I got something special to show you guys. As you can see on the back of the ATV, I've got a golden AK. I've got a banana, and I've got a piece of bread. We're already looking very good, to be honest with you. I think this is going to be the time where we might even pass 5,000 meters. That first run that we did, that was a fluke, all right? Just forget that. Forget that that ever happened. Now we're on our nice little four-wheeler with our piece of bread in the front, banana in the back, and an AK in the back. We are business in the front and party in the back. Now, the only thing we need to do is not fill up the gas tank with some water or some oil. We just can fit gas in here. And here we go. Why is it getting dark? Please just tell me it's a solar eclipse. It doesn't look like it. I think it's already about to storm again. So wait a minute. What happens if I'm on the four-wheeler and it storms? Like, is it just going to knock me off and destroy destroy my car? You know what? I'm not going to stop at any huts or anything right now. I'm just going to hope and pray that we don't get hit by some lightning. It sounded close, but I don't see any lightning around us. But let's just keep looking, looking out. And hoping that it doesn't get us. By the way, I think we ended at like a thousand meters on that first run, right? 
you could see at the top of the screen, we're already about to pass it, and there we go. We've already passed our best on the day, and we've only been on this four-wheeler for about, what, one minute? And the storms should be clearing up soon, so we should have even bigger paths to go. Hopefully, it'll be perfect timing. It, it literally was. I was gonna say for us to go in this hut up here, so right when we get there, I think I'm gonna check out what's in here. Since, you know, we have an AK, I'm not worried about any types of mutants at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and get out right here, actually. Let me just leave, grab my AK, cause I am not playing around. And let's see, how many mutants do we have up in here? Okay, hello, we got a couple. But as you can see, bro, the gold AK absolutely chops. Why was there three of them? Oh, we, we've got a, a nutty honey bar. Okay, let me go ahead and drop this and eat that, actually. Beautiful, max health. And what is this? Let me see. It is diesel fuel. Wait a minute. So diesel, does that count as gas or is that something different? I mean, I know diesel and gas, you know, it's the same thing, but like, I don't know if I can fit diesel in here. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. I'm going to try to fill it. I'm filling it with diesel and it's a, a totally different thing. Hold up. Let me see if my, if my thing starts here. Please. I'm going to try to start it. It doesn't start. Are you kidding me? Bro, why couldn't they hit me with a tutorial of like how to play or something like that? Now I've got to flip the car again. It, by the way, this is the only way you can get gas out. You literally have to flip the vehicle and hope that you can. Because look, I'm trying to and it's just... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe if I take the, the wheels off, maybe then I can flip the car. Hold on, let me see. Come on, bro. I'm literally right here. Just flip, please, four-wheeler. Oh, yes. Okay, we did do it. And now you can see the gas is running out. And there we go. Now we just have gas in the car. But how do I... Bro, how do I flip it back? Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, beautiful. All you got to do is hop on it. And then uh, you just start the start the ATV and it'll be fine. All right, let me put my wheel back on here. And there we go. I think we just saved it. So now will we be able to drive here? Let's see. All right, we saved the day. We are totally fine. Let me get my AK though. So I don't know what in the world you need diesel fuel for in this game, but uh, apparently it's, it's, it's not the ATV. So don't use it there. The good news is, I mean, we do have an extra piece of bread here that I'm just going to attach onto the car. So now we got a banana and two breads, and th that's good to go. And of course, we still have our golden AK. Oh, hey, bro, can you stop moving, please? I'm just trying to put the AK on the whip, dude. The four-wheeler, stop moving! Bro, I don't even know if I can put the... I don't, I don't know if I can put this on the four-wheeler. Okay, there we go, finally. And I think a, a dust storm is starting. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if this injures, injures my car. Why can't I move? Bro, this game is so buggy, man. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in this hut. Hopefully, my four-wheeler doesn't get destroyed. I'm just gonna camp out here, guys. I'll be back when the storm's over. All right, the dust storm just passed, but here's my issue now. I got on this four-wheeler and I could not move. Maybe it's because where I have this AK. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna place the AK like right here. That There's no way that's weighing down the, the vehicle, right? Here we go. I'm gonna start it up. And yeah, I literally can't move. I, is it too much bread that I have on here? Are you serious? Let's see, I just took a piece of bread off and that fixed the issue. Okay, well, I guess I can't carry that much bread and you know what? I needed to eat anyways, so that's fine. That totally shouldn't have fixed the issue. It's literally a piece of bread, brother. It doesn't weigh but, what, one pound at max? You know what? Whatever. We're back on the road, at least, with uh, a full tank of gas. Well, let me see. We actually don't have a full tank of gas. We've got 11 liters left. And um, I think we're going to need some water for the radiator and some oil for the whatever the other thing is here soon. But, I mean, I'm, I'm peaceful right now, guys. I feel very peaceful. We're definitely gonna make it to 2,000 meters. My hunger is pretty much maxed out and I got a piece of bread and a banana still with my AK. So you know what? We're vibing and I think I'm gonna pass my next few huts here just so I can get closer to like 2,500 meters. Actually, there is a big house up here. I kinda wanna see what's in it. I think what we're gonna do this time though is leave the, the vehicle out on the street because there's not really a reason to you know take it into the dirt. Let's see. Let's go ahead and open that. Well, I can't open the door with the AK in my hand. Can I shoot you through the window? Let, let me see if I can do that. Okay, I can't. I got to open and hurry it up. Open the door. Wait, what are y'all doing? Open the door, get my gun, and absolutely destroy. Wait a minute. What, what's my gun doing, bro? My gun was not working. Hold up. That mutant just fell. But my gun is literally doing zero damage to either of them. Time out. Is there a back door? Yeah, let me let me slide through here real quick. We're just going to try to sneak up on them. There we go. Okay. They're, they're, wait, they're dead. How did you all tie like that, bro? All right, you know what? I don't really care. We do have a, we got another weapon here. I don't think we'll need that, though. 
Uh, we got a piece of dry looking pizza. Totally gonna eat that. I'm gonna place this nutty bar on the back of the vehicle in hopes that it doesn't overweigh my, you know, my vehicle. There's no way it does though. And yeah, that was pretty much all the stuff that was in here. Um, there's a bottle and some dynamite. Okay, you know what? We're taking the dynamite. Is it a smart move? Maybe not because if a lightning strikes my vehicle, I'm totally gonna explode. But hey, let's just hope that doesn't happen. I can tell you one thing I'm not prepared for. And that is uh, for me to be running out of gas here. I mean, I'm only at 11 liters, but what about the radiator and the engine? Like, how much do they need? I haven't checked that at all. I think the radiator is like five liters of water, right? And then the engine might be like 10 liters of oil. And I haven't checked. Like I said, I haven't checked either of them, so I don't know what they're even at. And we have another hut. This is usually one that has a good amount of stuff in it, though. All of these with the garage doors? You know what? I'm stopping. All right, you already know what we got to do. We just got to open the garage doors, and I'm assuming they're actually going to come out this time rather than just sit there. Let's see. Okay, there is two mutants. They are just sitting there, though. I, I don't mind. Hey, yo, where is my four-wheeler? Where's my four-wheeler going? Hold up. Can I just stop it or, like, move it around? Okay, there we go. My four-wheeler is stopped, and now I'm getting rained on. I don't know what that's... Oh, wait, it's hot. Okay, yo, I, I need you all to get up out of the building, man. Oh, my... Okay, yeah, you can go that way too. Wait, why am I still sweating? Dude, I'm inside of a building. Does it not have AC? In oh, but it, it is a garage. Maybe we don't have AC. Hey, that's all right. We destroyed the mutant. What does what the what is the, the heat even do to you? Does it make you more hungry? I think uh, I think my hunger's like kind of dropping right now. Ah, who cares? We got plenty of food, and I think there's some food in here too. There is, there's a rubber ducky. There, there's a tomato. I'm gonna go ahead and chomp on that. See what we got here. One liter of gas. We're gonna take that. Uh, we've got 6.9 liters of water. Okay, that's beautiful. There's some other gas cans over here as well. Uh, it looks like deep. Nope, not gonna use that. I'm just gonna put this towards the back so I don't forget. We're gonna need this. Uh, I think this was gas, right? That's 0.3 liters of what? Diesel? Nah, get that out of here. Yeah, that's just gas. We have another one right here, which is gonna be oil and gas. No, that one's gonna be scrapped too. We've got one liter of gas here. And then this, there's a, there was another one somewhere. I don't know. Okay, this one right here. This has eight liters of gas. Let's go, dude. And we got a cheeseburger. We got a please burger cheese right here. We're going to go ahead and eat that in a minute too. And a milk chocolate bar. Bro, I told you, any building you see like this, definitely stop. Because it has so much stuff in it. Look, another milk chocolate bar. It's got so much. And what is this? Is this a donut? Oh, I'm about to, okay, I'm about to munch on that before we leave too. Let me go ahead and refill the car and the radiator and all that, guys and a piece of bread, bro. I'll be right back. Two hours later. All right, so I just finished filling up the car and attaching all of the food that we had to the vehicle. I don't know if it's actually gonna be able to hold, but like right now, we've got we've got an absolute stash. We've also got 21.9 liters in the gas tank. We have over here for water, we have 15 liters out of 15. And then for oil, we have 14.6, so we don't even need oil. All right, let's get back on the road. And it does look like it's not, you know, overweight or anything like that. Maybe I was just stuck on that last piece of bread that I was trying to get. Because, yeah, like, I'm totally moving, and I have a way much... <clears throat> because, yeah, like, I'm totally moving still, and I've got a lot more. Oh, no. I should have stayed, bro. Please don't tell me this lightning is about to hit me. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. Um, We're just going to keep driving. Last time, you know... the. The lightning did not hit us. So let's just hope and pray that the lightning just, you know, it spares us once again and does not hit us. We are almost to 3,000 meters. And look at the whip, bro. I've got bread and dynamite up front. In the back, I've got water, a please burger cheese over there. I've got a candy bar, a banana, another candy bar, and an AK. Like, brother... We are looking real good. Almost smacked a rock. And we have just passed 3,000 meters, ladies and gentlemen, with 21 liters of gas to go. Like, we could literally just keep driving as far as we can and see where it gets us. Obviously, as long as we don't get struck by lightning, because if that hits us, um, I'm, I'm assuming that our car gets split in half. And, um, well, that's not going to be good for us. I think it should be over soon. Bro, I cannot see anything in front of me. I wish this car had, like, some lights or something. Wait, am I underwater right now? What is this? Oh, never mind. We're all good. The storm is clearing up, ladies and gentlemen. And we are at 3,500 meters on our journey. I don't think we really need to stop anywhere else, right? I mean, we've stopped at our places. We've gotten plenty of water. Ma well, max water, max oil, and almost max gas. I feel like we don't need to stop anywhere else. Me personally, my highest was 5,000. We did it on the streaming channel. And when I got to 5,000, it's a bridge. And it kicked me off the bridge. So we'll be seeing what it does to me this time. Hopefully not, you know, what it did last time. We did just surpass 4,000 meters, ladies and gentlemen. 
So we've been on this road for a very long time, man. We, we are a long ways from where we started, you know, back at our crib. And I think we're doing pretty good. Let me know how we're doing in the comments. There's another little place we could stop right here. It looks like a phone. No, 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 I'm not a phone booth. Like a bus stop. It has a few mutants at it. Why is there three mutants there? Like, what are they? where are they going? Let me go ahead and tell you guys that bus is not coming to the bus stop today. Also, look at the power lines, dude. This bad boy is leaning. That is not going to be good for some electricity around here. All right, avoid these spikes in the road. And I see a crib up there. But let me tell you, bro, I'm not stopping at it. We're almost to 5,000 meters, which I said, like I told you guys, is my highest. And I, and I want to try to kind of beat it today. So we're going to do that. These houses do look interesting too. Like I've never even seen that one. A wooden house. I haven't seen that one. But here we go. I got to calm down because this is where I literally fell off the map last time. I ramped this thing in the road and I just, I flew off of the bridge. So here we go. Let's just go this way. It says bridge closed, but you know what? I don't care what you have to say. I'm going across this, this bridge. Wait a minute. Is there gas right here? Hold on. Let me, let me turn off my vehicle. What do we have here? We've got nine liters of gas there and nine liters there. Are you kidding me? Wait, we could literally fill up the car right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and max out at 30 liters, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Well, we have maxed out at 30 liters of gas. Let's go ahead and get back on the whip. And hopefully that didn't like mess me up or anything. What if they like put something in the gas, like rocks or something? By the way, we got to be mad careful over here, dude. I've not done this little obby thing. So, you know, if I just filled my gas up for me to fall off the bridge, whoo, okay, that was real sketch, but we made it. There's another little bridge thing right here, but I don't know if I have to go fast and ramp it. Hold on, look, let me just sneak towards it. I I'm actually going to get off the car and see what we have to do, because I'm not about to lose the... Oh, okay, it's easy. Wait, what's happening? It's getting dark once again, and that's not good, bro. I need to be able to see on this bridge. Oh, it's the eclipse. By the way, you, you, you can see what I was talking about earlier. Watch this. If I look at the eclipse... Why does that hurt me? But it doesn't hurt me looking at the sun normally. All right, nah, yeah. I I'm gonna wait till the eclipse is over because if I don't, I'm falling off this bridge. I'll be right back. All right, finally, the eclipse is over and we can get back to normal life. You see, I, I think this is a ramp. So what I'm gonna do is speed up here and hit it. Okay, it was a ramp and we totally successfully made that. Finally, we are past the bridge and we're back on our normal path here. Let me know if anybody's falling through that bridge, by the way. It was kind of sketch. I know at least one of you all have fallen off that bridge, so don't be lying to me. By the way, look where we're at. 29.4 liters on gas. We could drive for days, bro. And I think that's exactly what I plan on doing here. Like, unless we have to stop for whatever reason, I'm not gonna. For right now, what I am gonna do is grab this bread and eat it because I needed some food. And I think I need one more food, too. Let me just... Uh, I'm just gonna eat this banana back here. All right, now we're looking good on the hunger. We're looking good on stamina, on gas, water, oil, all of that. How far do you think we could actually go? Bro, if I could get to 10,000 meters, I'm gonna be geeked. But right now, we just passed the 6,000 meter mark. And I don't see any obstacles in sight, so we're looking good. Ah, they're trying to tempt me with that building again. Like I said, that's probably the best building in the game, bro. It has so much stuff in it. Like, even the bigger houses like this... They don't, they don't have enough to, you know, to hold me over. But those garages, they got all types of junk. Hey, what's not junk is that we did just pass 7,000 meters. Also, if you look down, you can kind of see how much water you have through the vehicle. I've got 11.3 water left, and we do have a water can on the back, so I might refill that on the next, like, storm or something. The only thing that I haven't seen is oil, so that's not good. Wait a minute, what is this road? What does it say right here? It says checkpoint ahead. Where's this taking me? Bro, I did not want to go off of the road right there. Let me let me get back on track. And what? Oh, okay. That's what it was. Why was that car just being thrown off of the road? Uh, We've got a checkpoint. Where did the car come from? I'm actually concerned. I mean, I witnessed a car being thrown from over here somewhere. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. But let's let's just see what, what happens here. Checkpoints? Okay, I can just move it. That was it? Oh, okay. Well, I thought there was going to be like a big monster here or something. All right. Well, I, I guess we continue with our dusty trip here, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting close to 8,000 meters. Like I said, our mission today is just to get to 10,000. That's all I care about. We do have a little issue, though, on hunger. Like, I am getting hungry pretty fast. But I, I do still have a cheeseburger. You know, that please burger cheese back there and a candy bar. But after that, we're going to need to get some food. Oh, by the way, I did just notice we passed 8,000 meters. So we're going, man. We are going to get to that 10,000 mark. I can feel it. I think I'm actually going to stop at this place up here. I feel like there's going to be a storm or something coming sometime soon. 
So I'm gonna stop, clear this place out, and uh, I'll pick back up with you in a minute. All right, so we got some good news. I replaced my water with another water jug that's maxed out, and I filled up the water in my, uh, wh whatchamacallit. So we're ma maxed out on water too, and there's another mutant. Actually, you know what? I ain't even scared of him. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat everything in his building. Do you have anything over there for me, sir? I, I don't see anything. Yep, I'm gone. Actually, I am gonna eat this onion right here in front of you, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road, big fella. See you later. All right, well, back on the road once again. I got a little more food. I got me another cheeseburger, and um, that's about it, to be honest with you. I think what's gonna kill us is probably gonna be hunger, because I think we are gonna get to 10,000 meters. We we're vibing right now, but the only bad thing that didn't happen there, there was no storm or anything. So I'm assuming that something's gonna happen soon, I'm just hoping it's not going to be a dust storm. But hey, whatever happens, happens. And check the top of the screen. We got 9,000 meters on the, the ride right now. So 10,000 meters is definitely going to happen today. Unless something crazy happens. Because you, you remember at 5,000 meters, we had to cross that bridge, right? So now when we get to 10,000 meters, is it going to be like another obstacle or something like that? Here we go, bro. We have done it. I think, okay, there's about to be, okay, it's just the eclipse. I don't really, I do kind of care about that though, because I can't see anything and i just spun out okay let me wait till the eclipse is gone but we have made it almost to ten thousand. all right the eclipse has cleared up it says warning keep out but we have reached ten thousand meters for the first time and we got that award in the bottom right let's get it now all we got to do is like you know not hit anything over here and it looks like we have a mutant up here hold up is this guy gonna be dangerous? Wait, 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 I, I do have a weapon. Let me go ahead and turn off the car and, and I, I, I might do something here. Hey, yo, big fella, my name is Cappy and uh, you know what, I'm just gonna shoot at him off the rip. Oh, okay, Um, we just erased that man off the platform. That was a piece of cake. I honestly thought that guy was gonna be able to do something, like shoot back, but he didn't even see me coming and we obliterated him. So let's see if there's any more over here. I'm actually not, yeah, okay, there is another one, but I don't know if, where, who's shooting at me? Oh, he's shooting literally right next to me. No, oh, bro, there's so, there's so many. Are you kidding me? Okay, when you get to 10,000 meters, guys, um, you, you might want to get off your car and defeat all of them. I didn't know there was literally like 10 right there. Well, we concluded our expedition at 10,000 meters. Let me know what you guys get to in the comments. I'll see you tomorrow. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion.